What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, where we unbox and review cool stuff almost every single day, and today is the day that the streak is broken. And that is because we are not doing a Slipknot mask video today. We have done Slipknot video after Slipknot video after Slipknot video, and today we finally have something different. Now, I have had this specific type of mask in my collection before, but it has been literally years since I've unboxed one or even just owned one in general. I was doing the mailbox Monday earlier this week, started to open up this package, realized what it was, and decided, you know what? That's getting its own video. So for those of you that saw that mailbox Monday, saw me stop and say, hey, this is getting its own video, this is the package I was referring to. However, as you can see, it is unboxed. Now, I didn't really take a look at anything. I just realized what it was and decided to stop the unboxing right there. So let's go ahead and pretend that I didn't do that. Just go ahead, and, you know. Voila. All right, guys, so today's package comes to us from Dakota Butler, and I am excited to see what's inside. All right, so we'll open her on up here for the first time ever. Definitely didn't already partially unbox it. And we have a note that says, Dear AJ, I hope you are doing well. It's been a bit since I've been able to send you something, so I thought, why not make it special? I've recently gotten back into the Myers hobby and acquired the Star Killer mold by HHP. As a Star Trek fan, I am mainly going to be producing Kirks from this mold and wanted you to have one of the early runs since you were the one who got me into collecting. I still have a lot to learn and the mold is a little rough, but I'm getting better with each copy. I hope this is a nice nice addition to the collection or at least a fun Myers conversion. I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed making it. Stay creepy. P.S. Loving the good life. Keep the uploads coming from Dakota. So if you haven't figured it out by now, what we have here is, in fact, a Captain Kirk mask. And I unboxed it backwards. How's it look? Look good? Okay. A Captain Kirk mask. And yes, what a gorgeous, gorgeous Captain Kirk. As I mentioned at the start of the video, it has been years since I've owned a Captain Kirk mask, and I'm talking probably 2012, so almost 10 years since I've had an actual Captain Kirk mask in my collection. Obviously, as a Myers collector, you pretty much need a Kirk mask in your collection since that's where everything started for Myers. But for some reason, I got rid of the one that I had, and I just never really replaced it, which is a real shame because it's a classic mask. Even just the Kirk itself is creepy as shit. Pre-Myers conversion, still one of the creepiest masks out there. I can absolutely understand why they went with this mask for the Myers. Even with the sideburns and everything still intact, all of the hair is really nice. It's just a fucking weird mask. There's no doubt about it. Now, I don't know anything about Star Trek, so clearly I never got a Captain Kirk mask or a William Shatner mask for the Star Trek aspect, but I will say one of my all-time favorite hobbies is when someone's talking about Star Wars, let's say they say something about Darth Vader, I say, yeah, yeah, you know, I never really got into Star Trek that much. Really rustles their jimmies. But it's done with love. I don't do it to be mean. I just really don't know anything about either of those franchises. I was never a Star Wars fan. I was never a Star Trek fan. Horror had my heart from a very early age, so... I was a horror kid. Now with that being said, I am super, super stoked. I had no idea that this was coming and I definitely needed a good Kirk mask for my ever growing Myers collection. And this one looks fantastic. I don't know how well the camera is picking it up because it's such a flat, very basic mask, but everything on this looks really, really nicely done. I love how clean the hair is. Everything is exactly where it needs to go. Very subtle paint job. We've got some nice eyebrow work there as well. And yeah, I was really, really excited when I opened that package and realized what was in here. And that's why I decided to give it its own video. It is not every day that we do a Kirk mask, obviously. I have a feeling that there is another one on the way because I've been contacted by somebody earlier that said that they were going to be sending me a Kirk and an H2 from the masks that they do. And I really had no idea that this one was coming at all. But like I said, if we haven't done a Kirk on this channel since 2012, at least, then yeah, I think it was about time to feature a Kirk on the channel. So I think this mask and this unboxing in particular will also help to kick off the Halloween 2021 Halloween Kills hype train. Let's fucking go. We are what, six months away from the movie? So it's about fucking time to get excited. So hell yeah. Thank you very, very much, Dakota. I absolutely love this thing. I appreciate it and I could not be happier with it. This is going to fit into the Myers collection perfectly and I cannot wait to get it displayed over there. So if you guys would like to go pick one of these up, I can absolutely recommend it. I have been out of the Myers game for a little while and by that I don't mean that I don't collect Myers or don't pay attention to Myers, but I'm definitely 
definitely not heavily involved in the forums anymore. I don't get a new Myers mask every single week, but I still like to think that I have some knowledge and expertise in that field, and I can say that this is a fantastic mask. I will be dropping his information down below. Make sure to go check him out. Let him know that the House of Masks sent you, and maybe he'll keep hooking us up with cool stuff. With that being said, I am going to go ahead and end the video. I'm going to leave you guys with some nice close-up shots of this mask, like always, to let you guys see all of the beautiful detail, and that will be that. So, thank you guys very, very much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this video, and I hope that you've enjoyed the switch up. And until next time, this has been AJ Good at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol, and yes to non-slipknot related videos, and we will see you guys later. Be me up, Scotty. Be me up, Scotty. Scotty?